Hey guys. It's Ashbury. It's been a while. I'm sorry we haven't been uploading videos as frequently as we like to. Yeah, it was like literally impossible to yeah. find any time. It's like we would get one thing done and another thing would another start. Thing. Yeah. It just kept rolling. We haven't uploaded in so long that some of our family members have been checking in on us asking if we're doing okay. If you're also wondering, yes, we are okay. Yeah. We figured now that we're finally settling down, it was a good time for us to give you guys a life update on what we've been up to the past few months. Things were crazy before we even got here. Working on a crazy amount of paperwork to get us and Shio here, and of course figuring out how to pack up our entire lives into a bunch of suitcases. We tried our best to film the few moments that we had when we weren't so busy, but the footage we filmed, which you're looking at right now, uh, never ended up being enough to make a decent video, and that's what kept us from uploading videos all this time. Moving to any country is like a really complicated process, period. But Japan is on a whole different level of crazy. The amount of paperwork required to live here is just like beyond. But the biggest challenge for us was finding the right apartment. That took a little longer than we expected. Because one, we really wanted to pick a place that we liked. Two, we wanted to find an area that's convenient for wherever we were going to be employed at. In Japan, when you look for houses, you know, in a certain area, probably like 400 come up, let's say. 400 comes up. You put in oh, yeah. pet friendly, that turns into 40. Yeah. Maybe less. Your choices get very limited and the rent goes really high. So that's what had us struggling it, a yeah, lot. Yeah, it added a lot to like the stress of looking for a place. Yeah. We went around and saw a lot of houses in a lot of different areas. Mm -hmm. We eventually boiled it down to three choices. Mm -hmm. The first we looked at was in the Shimokitazawa area. People are calling Shimokitazawa like the new Harajuku. It's like a new thrifting area, like up and coming, a lot of young people live there. Yeah. Really close to Shibuya. We thought that was like a cool place to live. The place was essentially perfect for uh -huh. what we needed. The inside of the house was great, it was spacious. I had a lot of good storage, which is important in Japan, hard to come by. There was even an area in the lobby where you could wash your dog. That was um, really nice. That was huge for us. The only thing, two things, was the location was far from everything, far from where where we were going to be working. And second was the, the rent was pretty high. Yeah, the, the rent highest was high. Out, of, out of all the places we looked at. Mm -hmm. The second option was our dream house. We'll probably end up living in a place like that. Eventually. Eventually. Yeah. Three bedrooms. Three bedrooms. Um, there was a tatami room with like windows on the ground, so like you could just lay there and like look outside. And you always wanted. A I always room. wanted a tatami room. Yeah. The kitchen had like a big window in front, so yeah. as you're like washing dishes or cooking, you could see out into a yard, and there were like trees and flowers. It was beautiful. I was yeah. like, oh, I'll just let Shio like run out there and play yeah. and like just walk her around. That place was really. Nice. It was a dream. It was so hard to let go. One, it was kind of an older place. Mm -hmm. And the amenities weren't great. Like no. it didn't have a bidet. No. Um, and no heated why, toilet. Why did I move to Japan if I didn't want a bidet? <laughs> yeah, and this is, that's the only reason we came. That's the only reason I'm here, basically. No. <laughs> the commute was gonna be far. It was gonna be tough for us. And ultimately, we found this place. It's a one LDK, so that means like one bedroom and then a living dining kitchen area. Yeah. This is the living dining kitchen area, and that's the bedroom. Yeah. The kitchen, as you can see, is like basically a hallway. Yeah. I think the most appealing part was that the rent was fairly cheap. Not the cheapest option, but... But when you have a pet, it was like the cheapest it could be. Yeah, this is the cheapest place we found. And we live in an insanely convenient area. I feel like we found the perfect place for us right now. Yeah. We took a lot of time to mm -hmm. think about it. Well, and at the same time, while we were looking, your family came. Yeah. Your little sister and her boyfriend came from yeah. California to yeah. spend the holidays here in Japan. Which was a really great time, by the way. It's rare for my family to be able to get together here in Japan, especially since COVID started. It was just unfortunate timing because there was just so much we had to do. We're running around with them, going to Disney, having fun. And then at the same time, looking at touring apartments and trying to decide which one, like all that takes time. The paperwork, you know? yeah. Yeah, to, and the paperwork. To say that's please. tough is an understatement. Is a, yeah. So when we finally settled on the idea of living here, and we were like, all right, real estate agent, like we would like to live in this place. And the man's like, gosh, come on, you that. But you can only get your keys two days before this guy starts his job. Yeah. And we were like, we can't have it earlier than that. Like they ain't gotta clean it. <laughs> I clean. Yeah, I clean yeah. It. Just give it to us right He's now. He's like, no, it's policy. Like we can't give it to you no earlier than that. We grabbed what we could. We packed up our suitcases, and then had to make like ten thousand trips back from your aunt's house on the train to this place. And then my first week of work started. Yeah. And then while he's doing these long shifts at work, 
I'm running around like, okay, get on the train, like ride to Shibuya, go to Nitori, buy this, like go to Ikea, buy this, lug all this stuff home, put it in the apartment. Okay, next trip, gotta go here, buy this. Like we had, we had nothing in here. We had no plates, no yeah. soap, like no, nothing. Like yeah. it wasn't livable. There's no car, so I can't just put it all in my car and drive home. Yeah. Like I'm lugging this stuff. I, I guarantee you I pulled some, like a muscle here and then like my peg and still don't feel right. <laughs> <laughs> and then that very same weekend, after my first week of work, we had a friend's wedding to go to. Yeah. It was a lot. Yeah. At no point yeah. was I like, oh man, I wish I didn't have to go to this wedding. No. Like I was so excited yeah. for it. It's just the timing of all these events. It was like, was like never a break. It, it couldn't be next week. Yeah, you, know? <laughs> you know. But the day came around, and it was just so. It was just such a beautiful wedding. It was such a great time. We were crying harder than anybody in the whole chapel. <laughs> and I'm sure people around us were wondering like, Yeah, oh, I definitely saw just, a couple people looking like, why like, are they- Why are they crying so hard? <laughs> like we were talking about it with our friends from college afterward. And we were saying like, when we all split up before, we didn't know that like COVID was about to hit in a couple years. Mm -hmm. So we just thought we would be apart for like a year or two. The last time we were all together was back in 2018 for our wedding. That's the last time all of our friends were together. This is your family? Yeah. <laughs> so my journey in the US is over here, but we're gonna meet in Japan again. What's up YouTube? What's, What's up YouTube? YouTube? What's up YouTube? Next time you see me is maybe next year, 2019. But what turned into a year or two turned out to be like four or five years. Yeah. And in that moment, we realized how much time had passed between like this guy that was our roommate in college. Now he's about to be like somebody's husband, yeah. like a father one day, you know, like mm. he's taking that next step in his life. Yeah. It was just like a really beautiful thing to be a part of and yeah. to see. December of 2020, we graduated from college and we were going to come here back then. Because of the pandemic, we waited for years to fulfill this dream of living here in Japan together. And now that we're finally here, of course it was hard to contain all those emotions hitting us at once. It was really deep in that moment to realize how much time had passed and yeah. how much we had all grown and how much we'd all been through. And now we're finally starting to get pretty settled in. Obviously, um, there's still gonna be a lot of roadblocks ahead, challenges ahead. You've had a lot of culture shock since you've yeah, been here. Yeah, I'm still kind of adjusting to like how different life is here from America. Yeah, but we'll get through it together. I went to grocery shopping the other day and I was walking back with groceries in my hands like, dang, this stuff's heavy, you know? And then I was thinking like, wow, I'm really like walking in my city with groceries in hand like yeah. to go home and make dinner in Tokyo. Like that, that's what I've always wanted like all these years, you know, I'm doing it now. Yeah. You know? It sucks that we haven't been able to get a video out in a while. But hopefully we can change that now. Yeah, that's been our life so far. Whether you're new here or if you've been supporting us for a long time, thank you for watching our videos. It means a lot to us. It's good to be here. It's good to be here living our life. We just feel so grateful. Anything from you? Sinat. Oh. oh. Hey. Hiya. What's up? Anyways, we got a whole bunch of ideas. Um, a whole lot of things we want to do. Life to live. Thanks for watching, we love you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. What's up, YouTube?